time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Go hit it. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda. That's G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. The Wrath of Man in theaters last weekend. It's the new Guy Ritchie movie, also starring Jason, what is his name, Stratham. And let me tell you, if you like action and and blood and 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 fighting, gun shootouts and and a story of vengeance, this is gonna be the one. Let me tell you a little bit about how the story goes in this one. So H, who's played by Jason Stranam, gets a job as a security guard of an armored vehicle company that transports large amounts of cash. He takes on the job to figure out who killed his son in a robbery of an armed vehicle and wants to get his revenge. So like I said, this is a Guy Ritchie movie, which means you're going to get kind of a story that jumps around and, and, you know, time points. You'll you'll get the present day and and go back to the past and then three months from now and two weeks in the future and all this. I mean, this is this is kind of what Guy Ritchie does right here is jump around. He also kind of broke up this movie into four kind of cleverly named parts, which is named, I had to write this down, the first part of Dark Spirit, then you got Scorched Earth, Bad Animals Bad, and Liver, Lungs, Spling, and Heart. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you can see why all these, these names go kind of with, with the plot of the series, and it's a clever little name. This one, though, you know, Richie teams back up with Straight Ham, who he's been with before he... Then he was in the um, lock stock and 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 two guns barrel. Him and him and, and Richie teamed up before, and let I me mean, tell you, he does this part well. He straight him does what he does well. He plays like the doesn't not much on dialogue, like very little on dialogue, but he's got that clenched jaw, just straight faced calmness about him, but also an underlining, you know badassness to him he does and you know when when he brings it he brings it and you're just there rooting for him no matter what he does you're like oh get it stray get it get it h even when he's given some just silly lines in the dialogue like what did what was one of them did you make a poo poo in your diaper Yes, that was one of the lines. Did you make a poo-poo in a diaper? I'm like, it, it's kind of like had your eyes rolling. But in this case, I was just like, I, it was funny coming from him. Coming from him, it was funny. Other, anybody else, it probably would have had you cringing. But let's be honest. You're going you're not, you're going to see this, not for the dialogue and all that kind of stuff. You're going to see this because you want to see an action-packed, you know, non-stop, crazy story that you know a story of vengeance revenge where it's just gonna have blood and 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 crazy fight action scenes and death and murder that's what you're coming to this for and this is what you're gonna get in this you should kids see it let me tell you a little bit about the things the parents need to look out for this movie as far as language i mean the dialogue is it's not it's not big on dialogue but with the dialogue they have you're gonna get lots of profanity lots you know you're gonna get the f word what else the a hole word, the the s word, the c words, both of them. The this, you know what I'm talking about. The c words, the bad ones. You're gonna get both of those. So this is not this thing gonna look out much. You're not gonna hold back in the profanity in this movie. The big thing you're gonna have to look out for this is the violence. Other than the language, this is gonna be the violence. As you could probably tell just from me telling you a little bit about the movie, you're gonna get you know gun gunfights, stabbings. You know, uh, bloody, gory kind of scenes, murder, death, vengeance, all of it. <laughs> all of it. I mean, that's what I said. This is a fun one to watch, not think about too much. I mean, you're going to kind of think about who did it. it. But for me, it became kind of obvious who did it early on. Early on, I was like, oh, it's them. It's them. You know, but it, the fun is in the ride of this. And, and it was a fun watch. I watched it on the big screen. I enjoyed it. If you already seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, mwah!